So what color was Christ and his people? What color was Christ and his people, Miss Jack? He was a Jew, and what color are the Jews in the Bible? What did we just read? They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews, Miss Jackie? You don't have to fight with yourself because you're fighting with you because we're showing you that we're reading about you. Right. And you're fighting because the people that are teaching you are the same ones that put these yokes of iron on your neck. You're saying to pretty much read the Bible straight through in chronological exactly. order. Exactly. Is what you're but saying. But the thing about it is, though, even though... Hold on, my brother. Stay right for, here. Stay here. The, Stay here. Come right here. Because you don't want to talk to me anyway. I want to talk to you. For the majority of us that really want to do it like that, the Bible still is going to be kind of rewritten by man and certain kind of... Um, so, and what's your name one more time? You said it, but I can't. Jackie. Jackie. All right, Jackie. I can rock with that. So Jackie, you believe in the Bible, right? I truly do. You believe in do you believe in everything in the Bible? Yeah. Okay, it's going the Bible is real, uh -huh. but then the Bible is actually written in scriptures that are not going to be kinda of, sorta of not real. But you gotta What do you have mean kinda of, sorta of not real? Some of the things are kinda of gonna be false by false prophets as they preach. We're gonna show that. You said something. Now I'm gonna teach what you said, but I'm gonna show what you're learning in the congregation of school that you're going to. They're lying. Right. He's already told you because you said you must read the Bible from Genesis straight through. It's great to do that because you definitely get a historical understanding of the Bible. But let's see how the Bible told you to read it to get the understanding. The Bible says how to read it. So God had it written how to read and get the understanding of the Bible. It's already written in the Bible to do so. Read that. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 28, verse 10. Read. For precept must be upon precept. Uh -huh. Precept upon precept. Read. Line upon line. So it said precept must be upon precept. So when you read a law, there is another scripture that the same law to explain it. So then it says that there's going to be a line. Read that again. Top uh, Verse 10. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 10. Uh -huh. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. So it said line upon line. So like you said, it, sometimes it'll be in, chrono, in chronological order that you will read. Read on. Here a little and there a little. So then you're going to read some of it here in Mark. Then you'll come over here in Isaiah and read it too. So the Bible tells you to read the Bible where you jump here and then you're going to jump there to get the understanding. Because if you're reading it straight through, there are certain things that are going to hem you up, right. that won't confuse us, but it's going to confuse you. Things that used to confuse us, but no longer, because the Bible already has these things written. Because then you started mentioning about the false prophets, right? So now, let's get Matthew 24. So now, because a, a false prophet will actually not teach you what the Bible says. A false prophet will put their own thing in there, tell you it don't matter what Christ looked like, all of that. Do you think it matters what Christ looked like? Do you think that matters? You think that's very important in the Bible? Well, you know what? Um, to be quite frank with you, yeah. he is now actually, his blood runs warm. 
form through all of our veins. Who's so all of our all veins? All of these, all of the different origins, foreigners, mm, um, are you sure? Caucasians, yes. Why? I mean, because, you, you know, because that's how he lived. He, that's, that's how, how he lived. He lived for everybody. Yeah, is what you're saying. I mean, yeah. Now give me Matthews. Now, and, now, and, and, now. Well, give me the false prophets in 24. Uh, you got it. 24, 24. Watch this, uh, Jackie. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 24. Yeah, yeah. For there shall arise false Christ uh -huh. and false prophets. So there's gonna be false Christ, meaning somebody's gonna take the real Christ and remove him. And take his image out of the way and put up a false one. Which one's the real one over there? The black one. Now, what's the one on your right? Your right, right here, right? Now, is this one the real image or a false one? Well, you know what? Jackie, Jackie. I have an is, answer to that. I know. This is a okay. yes or no, though. Okay. Because the Bible says he's a black man that looks like you. This one, is that what that looks like? Or is that a black man? So this is easy. You see, he's just saying, yes, that's it. This is not because this is the false Christ. Right. Now, right. it's set up on top of people, false... His people was made in his image. And what color were they? What color was Christ's people? My brother, they just walked up. Because Christ was a Jew, right, Miss Jackie? He was a Jew, right? Let's read that. Hold where you at. You Jeremiah 14 and 2. The Bible tells you what color Christ's people was. Because you ain't never seen no white man and white woman have a black child. Right. They can't have sex and have a black child. So that would mean that Christ's mother and father, Joseph and Mary, were black. That's, right. That's what that means. But then our mothers and fathers are black. That's who we talking to. So you're right. Christ's people was made just like him. You're 100% right. But we're going to read out of the Bible what the Jews look like. Read. That's the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring uh -huh. it out. Judah mourneth. Now the word Jew is short for Judah. Jew is short for Judah. Read on. And the gates thereof language. So our protection, the gate is for protection. Who protects us as a people, Miss Jackie? Who makes up laws to help us? Anybody? Who? What, know? what law helped us? Barack Obama didn't even make a law to help us. He came up with homosexuality. It's all right for a woman to marry a woman and a man to marry a man. That's what he did for black people. Hey. What about, uh, 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 what about Trump? What did he do for us? What about Biden? Matter of fact, he got all the black people to vote for him, and now he's actually made a law for Chinese people. Hey, you know, for them to be protected, but he has not made one for us. Because our protection has language. We don't have no leaders in those spots protecting us, looking out for us. Jesse Jackson ain't doing it. He only show up when one of us get killed by the police just to calm us down so we don't destroy the city. Right. That's when he come, but he don't come while people are living like they are right now, while we out here. Right. Only people you see doing that is the ones you looking at. Right. <laughs> Read. They are black. Whoa, what color are the Jews? They are black uh -huh. unto the ground. They are black unto the ground. They are different shades of brown, and that's what I'm talking to. That's what I'm looking at. Right. Now let's go back to Christ. So now, because we're reading the words of Christ, that read 24 and 24 again. Watch this right here. Uh, matter of fact, yeah. No, yeah, that's what I want. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 24. Uh -huh. For there shall arise false Christ. This is written in red because Christ is telling you somebody's going to give you a false image. There shall arise false Christ, Miss Jackie. Read on. And false prophets. Now with those false Christ, there's going to come a false prophet, a false teachers. Many false teachers. And they tell you it don't matter what Christ looked like. They tell you that he came and he was actually not even, he didn't even have a real daddy. He just right. had a mama. That's what they teach. But the Bible actually says Christ had a father and mother. But people tell you that no, he just had a mother and the Holy Spirit got Mary pregnant when she was already somebody else's husband, wife. So who That's was crazy. the Holy Spirit? His father, right? No, the Holy Spirit just told Mary that she would have a son. He didn't what have sex. The what father I'm is trying, Joseph. But I'm trying to ask you. Go ahead. That was his earthly father, right? Yeah, his earthly father was Joseph, okay, just so like you have an earthly father. father. So he had a father. Yeah, he had an earthly father. Yes, okay. just like me and you. But okay. who's our ultimate father? God. That's God there right. you go. Same thing, just like Christ. Yeah. It's no different. But they'll tell you that, which that, that doctrine didn't come out until the 1800s. You know one thing? So, Jackie, you understand so far? Yeah, I truly do. So what color was Christ and his people? 
What color was Christ and his people, Miss Jack? He was a Jew, and what color are the Jews in the Bible? What did we just read? They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews, Miss Jackie? You don't have to fight with yourself because you're fighting with you because we're showing you that we're reading about you. Right. And you're fighting because the people that are teaching you are the same ones that put these yokes of iron on your neck. So you're fighting yourself. When your brothers, we're reading it, you said it's not black and white. True, we're reading it all black and white. This is written in paper. Christ had, God had this written just for you so that the lies that you've been taught, you can get rid of them. That's why I said don't let no man beguile you. Don't be caught up in false doctrine because that was going to come. You understand that? So what color was the Jews, Miss Jackie, once again? Well, actually, there was actually no color set to them. They were actually more of Miss Jackie, Miss Jackie. Where is, where is Africa? What color were the people in Africa? Because Jer Jerusalem and Israel is a part of Africa. What color are the people there? Black. Watch this. Now, you're going to school for church. False church. Watch this right here. My brothers across the street. What color are the people in Africa? Now, why are they not going to school and you're going to school to learn lies and common sense tells you that the people of God are black. Right. But when you go and learn a lie, a slave doctrine, you fight yourself, Miss Jackie. And that's what we are here to do is to teach the truth. We're not to get on you. We're trying to show you that the Bible does not teach what our people have been learning here. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Because if it did, we're going to deal with some things that is on its way to this land right now. And our people are sitting around taking what we're doing lightly when we're not always going to be able to come out here and teach our people. It's going to be bombs that hit this place. It's going to burn everybody up. That stuff is prophesied in the Bible. But it's going to burn ones up that don't confess that Jesus was a black man and follow the laws of God. But if you're saying it doesn't matter, you know what? It, they, they don't know what they color are. You are deceived in your mind, Miss Jackie. So we're going to read it again. Jeremiah 14 and 2 again. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it out. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews, Miss Jackie? No, According to God, what color did he just say the Jews are? Miss Jackie? I don't want to say the word. Why not? I don't want to say the word because, see, we are not that color. He said black unto the ground. So that means different shades of brown. The deeper you dig, the darker it gets. So what color? We use black to say we have melanin. Y'all might want to say black. Well, I'm going to say charcoal. Cool with me. But that means you acknowledge that the people of God are black. Or charcoal people. All praises. Don't fight with yourself. Let's go back to Matthew. You're learning, you're learning to go against your own heritage, Miss Jackie, that God left to you. What's your name, brother? Come here real fast. What's your name? Patrick. What is it? Patrick. Hydro? Patrick. Patrick. Okay, I ain't here. My bad. Patrick. So now do you now we're gonna read this scripture, Patrick. Read that thing again. 24. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders in so much. So these false teachers are gonna show great signs and wonders. They're gonna have different things, you know, the little crazy stuff that you see on TV that's all lies, where people fall out and pass out, say they caught the Holy Ghost, but then it leave when they leave the church. Read on, that it might what? That they might, hold on. Great signs and wonder, uh -huh. in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive 
the very elect. It said they're going to do so much great things that if it was possible, it didn't say it was possible. It said if it was possible, they would deceive the very elect of God. Now, the elect of God <laughs> is the Israelites. Right. No one else. Right, so listen up, because we're going to read something, Ms. Jack, because you said that Christ lived for everyone. <laughs> What you think, Patrick? You think Christ came for everybody? You think Christ came and died for everybody, Patrick? Well, just like it said in the, in the Bible that he was deceived. Who was deceived? You said Christ was deceived? He was deceived and he said it himself. Are you serious that you, you said what? Christ yes, was deceived, Miss Jackie? I've apostles. never heard that before. He was deceived by the apostles. They How had, was he deceived? They had the final, the final dinner with him, and he thought they were his. Well, he knew he, Judas was going to do that. He was going to turn he, him over. He thought they were Jacob, find that real he, fast where he, uh, he Christ thought, actually he, said that one's going to do it. He thought that they were his colleagues. Hold on, Patrick. He thought, Hold on, Patrick. He thought that they were his real go, colleagues. All right. But um, in fact, they were not. All right. Let's read this right here. Hold on, Miss Jack. <laughs> I've never heard somebody say that Christ was deceived. Because didn't, didn't Christ know everything? You know wait, wait, Jackie, Miss Jackie, that's a yes or no. Didn't Christ already know everything? No. no. The, the Israelites. Do you believe in Christ? The, the Israelites already Do you, know What church you go to, Miss Jackie? My church? Yeah. My church is actually on Nassau Street. What's the name of it? My church is called Ebenezer. Ebenezer what? African Methodist Episcopal Church. So AME. Yes. All right, so it's an AME church. All right. And I'm, I'm by the I'm by the way I've already graduated. Okay, so you graduated from whatever kind of curriculum y'all have from there. Bible school. So y'all have Bible school, and you didn't even know you was an Israelite until today. Well, no, no, no. Matter of fact, I already knew, but I'm more than just an Israelite. What is there else to be? Because <laughs> can anybody else get into the kingdom, Miss Jack? Hey, you know one thing. Going John back to six, Christmas. Seven. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Say that again. Going back to Christmas. No, 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 Miss Jackie, Miss Jackie. I don't like to jump around to everything because what that does and what you are doing is running from God. And I don't allow people to do that when I'm teaching. I like to deal with one thing at a time because we're going to bring you where, where the Bible is true and every man's a liar. God is true. The words of God is written in the Bible. For you to go to Bible school and to say the things that you're saying, you have been lied to so bad that you can't even stand in front of your brothers and give me a simple yes no, or I have no. Not been because I don't listen to a lot of people. No, you don't listen to the Bible. No, I read the Bible. No, but you don't listen to it. No, I listen to my pastor when he preaches. And the your word. pastor lying. I'm gonna tell you the truth, because what's today? What's today? What is today in the Bible? Is today a holy day in the Bible? Every day is. You have to make it one. Is today a specific holy day in the Bible? You have to make today it is the Sabbath day, Miss Jackie. I'll just make it plain. Saturday. It's the fourth commandment out of the ten that y'all know in your church. It says keep it holy, right? How do you do that? Did your pastor teach you that? Well, this is how I do. No, 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 no. no. This, you said you listen. You what is the first thing you do in the morning when you wake up? You pray. Okay, and who do you pray to? Do you pray to I Allah? pray to God. Okay, so who's Allah? That is an Arabian God that has right. nothing to do with me. All right. Because they had me in slavery just like these people did. Right. So you're wanting me to follow Islam when they're the same people that put me in slavery first in a sub-Sahara slave trade. Right. Then the transatlantic one happened and we ended up over here on slave ships. So you're wanting me to follow my oppressor's doctrine. Whether it's Islam or Christianity, they're both slave doctrines. Right. Period, Miss Jackie. So now, now we're just going to read because I want her to get what Christ said. 1524, because she believed Christ died for everybody. He did not die for everybody. Read. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said. Miss Jackie, this is written in red by Christ. Go, I am not now, sent. Miss Jackie, why are you running? No, no, I got it. Why you? Where are you it's going, Miss Jackie? Go. I got, Why? I got things I got to do. What you got to do? Once I see my formation, I got to Your go. Your formation? What you yes. mean? What they mean? I'll explain that another Can Saturday. I give you a law real quick then before you leave? One scripture. Deuteronomy 22. Go straight to it. Then we'll deal with this other stuff in a second with everybody else. Read that. 
That's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Do you believe that, Jackie? That a woman should not wear what God has ordained for men to wear, and a man should not dress like a woman. Do you believe that? Well, yeah, yeah. You know one thing? So if I was standing here dressed like a woman, what would I have on, Miss Jackie? No, a dress. No. So if a woman is dressed like a man, what does she have on? Okay, let me tell you. Let me explain that to My you. My man's over here across the street. Okay, let me if a woman is dressed like a man, what does she have on? Okay, do you see, um, do you see Scotland around? Uh -huh. and bagpipes and parades. Yeah, that's and, and that's were all served. white people. They're not you. Right. This is to the Israelites and Israelite only. He said you can't do it. Right. We think we live in like everybody else, Miss Jagger. Give me uh Joel 2 and 27. You think we ought to copy everybody else's the way they live, their heritage, and their ways. God said, follow his. I gave them to you as a heritage Israel. Right. Not, I gave it to everybody else. The Israelites is the only one here. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Jews. Right. And you hate being a Jew. Read this, because God is only the God of the Jews. Read, the Israelites, that's it. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God says he's with Israel. Read on. And that I am the Lord your God uh -huh. and none else. God just says he's the Israelites God and none else. Right. That's plain. And our people will argue, well, yeah, have you seen Scotland with eight skirts on? I'm not supposed to dress like that. I'm not Scott. I'm not an Edomite. I'm an Israelite. Right. God said do what he said or okay. we would go into right. slavery. Okay. And a, that's why that really, happened. I have a really fast question for you. Are you going to let me okay, answer so it when you ask it? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, What's your so question? Me, I got this question for you. Do you understand that a woman is not supposed to wear pants? No, but this is what we the, just read. This is the thing. So you see? If women, you see? If, well, if females, you say women, I say females. Because y'all are okay. women. Y'all come from men. Oh, y'all was given the term woman by God, by Adam, because y'all come from men. Okay, right. that's your terminology. No, that's God's terminology. terminology. Listen to what I have to say. Where's okay. the, uh, give me, give now, me Romans now, 3. Now, see, now. Right. Well, what about women paying the bills and men paying the bills? Okay. No, so, no now for so, one, so now for women one. pay bills in a skirt or a dress? Or no, women? in a skirt, because God said so. <laughs> you, a woman can pay bills if she wanted. She got a job. God didn't say, say she couldn't have a job. Matter of fact, give me Proverbs 31 in the last verse. I'm going to show you that our women actually worked in Proverbs, because all our women like to say they're Proverbs 31 women. Well, then all of a sudden when they start talking about that you can't wear certain things, then our women say, well, I have to do the stuff that men do. No, you don't. No, you don't. Men are over the women. Now, if a man is not taking care of his household, God calls him an infidel. He's worse than an unbeliever. But, but the woman is supposed to be a help me to him, not him a help me to her. They're not 50, 50 or equal. He's over her, so now. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 31 and verse 16. This is the chapter that explains how all our women should be aiming to be. If you're not on this level, you should be striving to be this type of woman. Read. She considereth a field. So she sees land. Read. And buyeth it. Uh-huh. With the fruit of her hands. With the fruit of what, Miss Jackie? It said the fruit of her hands, meaning the fruit of her work. She go and work and make money, and she's able to see a field or a building or property that she wants to buy, she buys it. So that means she has to have a job or something or some type of income to apply this scripture right here. Right. But our women think, nope, all I got to do is sit on my hands and do nothing. That's right. not what this Proverbs 31. I. You, Israel united in Christ. I am of the church of the Israelites because the Bible calls the people to church. We, on the back of the flyer, there's an address. We are right there in Columbia, but we all over the world. Yeah, but he stay right here in Charleston. We come down here all the time. We just don't come to this one location. We go all over different spots in Charleston and teach our people. Right. Because the Bible commands the teachers to go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. Why don't pastors do that, Miss Jackie? That's a commandment, not an option. That's a commandment for every man that is teaching this Bible. He must go out into the street and teach. Why are we the ones doing it, but your pastor don't? Because he's not keeping God's laws. That's right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.